Hi, so in this video we're going to look at the maximum number of electrons that these atoms can accommodate in these quantum numbers. So looking at the quantum numbers and seeing if they're plausible, if they're possible, if they are possible sets of quantum numbers to describe a particular orbital, how many electrons would there exist with those? So remember the n value is the period on your periodic table, the l value is the shape of the orbital, so if l equals 0 it's s, if L equals 1, it's P. If L equals 2, it's D. The ML is the axis. So that axis goes from minus L through 0 to plus L. So for example, our P orbitals, that would be minus 1, 0, plus 1. So representing our X, Y, Z axis. And the MS can either be plus a half or minus a half. So if you're given a question with the MS not being a plus a half or minus a half, then you know that's not possible. So let's start here. So we've got A, so n equals 4. So the relationship between the number of orbitals and the n value is you square that n value. So the value here would be 4 squared. Okay, so 4 squared would give us uh, 16 orbitals, sorry. So that's our number of orbitals. And then multiply that by 2. So that gives us 32 electrons. So that one's not too bad. The thing you need to remember is n squared will give you the number of orbitals. So now we've got n equals 5 and ml equals plus 1. So you need to think if n equals 5, how many mls would equal plus 1? So it's memorizing that table that's in another video. Um, or you could quickly kind of scribble it out. So I'll scribble it out. I don't have a lot of room, so I'll kind of go in here. But if n equals 5, our possible L values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are possible L values. So of those L values, which ones would have a plus 1 in their ML? So for 0, the only ML is 0. For this one, it would be minus 1, 0, plus 1. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. For 3, minus 3, uh, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. And minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4 would be your options. So of these... Remember, the maximum L value you can get is n minus 1, so it would be 4 for this example. So then it's just looking at where are your plus 1s. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 orbitals that have ML of plus 1 if n equals 5. So it would be 4 orbitals, 8 electrons. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the next one is n equals 5 and ms is plus a half. So n equals 5 would give us n squared value of 5 squared, which would be 25 orbitals, and therefore 50 electrons. Now we have an ms of plus a half. So remember in every orbital you have an electron that's plus a half, and one that's minus a half, so they've got opposite spins. We're specifically only focusing on that plus a half, so it's going to be half that number, so it would be 25 electrons. So for each orbital, there's only one electron that's going to have that plus a half. So n equals 3, l equals 2. So with n equals 3, l equals 2, how many orbitals do we have? So looking at the number of orbitals for L equals 2, we've got, we've got an example here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 orbitals. So therefore, 10 electrons, because there'll be 2 in each orbital. Now we've got N equals 2 and L equals 1, so we've got 1, 2, 3 orbitals. And 6 electrons. So now we're looking at this one here. So first of all, with this one, n equals zero, 
that can't be possible. So remember I said the n value is the period on the periodic table, so there is no zero period. It starts at one. So there would be zero electrons because it's, it's, it's impossible starting here. So now we've got n equals 2, l equals 1, ml equals minus 1, and ms equals a half. So we've got n equals 2, l equals 1, so we're looking at the p orbitals now, and we're looking specifically at one of those p orbitals that has the designation minus 1, and in that we, we're looking at something that has a half spin. So that's just looking right in at one electron. Okay, so one orbital, but we've got the ms of plus a half, or minus a half, doesn't really matter. So it's one of those electrons. So next we have n equals 3 and ms equals plus a half. So we go, remember, 3 squared, which would give us our value for our orbitals. So that's 9 orbitals, and therefore 9 electrons. So n equals 2 and l equals 2. So if n equals 2, the maximum l value is n minus 1, so it would have to be l equals 1. So this isn't possible here. Now the next one is n equals 1, l equals 0, so we're in an s orbital, and ml equals 0. So we've just gone from an s, one orientation, so it's one orbital and two electrons. So this is a mix of all the different ways that we can ask you the maximum number of electrons for a particular set of quantum numbers. Thank you.